Hi, Steve Stenrose, First Choice Inspections. We're going to do a roof inspection here, see what we have. This is a home in Poway. Okay, right away when you enter the garage roof here, you can see that there's a lot of moss and growing lichen growing on the uh, roof tiles. This is a real safety hazard, especially if you try walking on this when it's wet out. Uh, this stuff gets like ice. So what I'm going to recommend here is have a qualified professional power wash the roof tiles and get this growth off of here. This is a concrete tile roof and these are actually quite safe to walk on if you know how to walk on them. What you actually want to do if you ever walk on a tile roof you want to step on the overlapped area of the tile which would be down here if you step in the middle you're going to crack the tile. So walk on the lower edge where it's supported by the tile under it. And it should be fine. Okay, this is the garage roof. Over here by the gable wall of the house we see we have the flue for the water heater. Uh, if a flue is closer than eight feet to a house wall such as this one is, the flue should extend two feet above the roof edge. So I'll recommend the qualified professional come in and put an extension on that flue. Here we have a broken roof tile. This is on the garage roof yet. Overall this roof looks to be in good shape. Here where the rake edge comes down and meets the garage roof ridge, we'd like to see some weather stopping installed here to keep the water out. Here we have another broken tile. And this is a good example here. I see this a lot. These concrete roof tiles are repaired uh, by caulking and then they glue them back together. As you can see, they will pull apart just as this one has. So that's really not the proper repair. These broken tiles should be replaced and put in place with an approved tile adhesive. Alright, if you look at the roof penetrations here, the one on the upper right is correct. The flashing is daylighted back on top of the tile. The two mechanical vents here at the bottom, the flashing terminates under the roof tiles. This can lead to water intrusion. What I'll recommend here is that we have a qualified uh, roofing contractor come in and flash these properly. Now this is the laundry dryer vent termination and we have a lot of uh, excessive lint buildup here so what I'm going to recommend here is to have a, a vent cleaning specialist come in and clean the the dryer vent out properly so we don't have a fire hazard there. This is the furnace flue. Again, the flashing terminates under the tiles, should be extended out on top of the tiles. 
this plumbing vent is done correctly. The two penetrations above the skylight here are incorrect. This is an acrylic skylight. And here at the skylight you can see the frame. Uh, the corners should be sealed on this. This is an area where you could have water penetration. Okay, and here we have another incorrectly repaired broken tile. As you can see, it's been caulked. Thus far, it's holding up. No guarantees with that. I'd recommend replacing it and repairing it correctly. Okay, and then as we come down the far side of the roof, we can see we have a lot of moss and lichen growth on these roof tiles. This is like a skating rink if you're up here and it's wet. They need to be power washed. There's the fireplace chimney. And you can see there's no rain cap or spark arrestor installed on the top. You don't want the water getting down into the fireplace. And you need a spark arrestor so you stay on friendly terms with your neighbors. You don't want to catch their house on fire.